Blessed day everyone, welcome to my channel Math with Mrs. O. Today we're going to have a college entrance exam review in math and using the Filipino or Tagalog language. Please smash the subscribe button and hit the bell button. You can use this review for your book cut, for your asset, for your book set, DLSU set, UST, U US step or USTEP. Others call it USTEP. I'm Ophelia Orate, the principal owner of a school, a math teacher, and an author of 21 math books. I've been, I've, I have been conducting a college entrance exam review at Core Concepts Tutorial Center for more than 20 years now. Now, this will help you. Problem number one. Oh, Tagalog, ha? Huh? Kung ang x plus 2 ay factor ng 3x squared plus kx minus 2, ano ang halaga ng k? Let me uh, translate this in English so that those students who are not used to solving problems in math written in Filipino will be able to understand it well. Okay. If x plus 2 is a factor of 3x squared plus kx minus 2, what is the value of k? Now, in this um, problem, we know that x plus 2 is a factor. So, we can equate it to 0. So, x is equal to negative 2. Since it is already a factor, x plus 2 is a factor, rather, and we know that x equals negative 2, we can now substitute it here. 3x squared plus kx minus 2 equals 0. Why equals to 0? Because it is a factor. So when you substitute the value of x, which is negative 2 here, the remainder is equal to 0. You've learned that under polynomial functions. So, substitute negative 2 for x. We have here negative 2 squared plus k times negative 2 minus 2 equals 0. So, this gives you positive 4 times 3 plus negative 2k minus 2 equals 0. Take note here that we simplify the exponents first before multiplying because of the PEMDAS exponent before multiplication. Don't ever forget that. So now, 3 times 4 is 12 plus negative 2k minus 2 equals 0. 12 plus negative 2 gives you a 10 plus negative 2k equals 0. We're solving for k, so you have to transpose 10 to the other side. That's negative 10 over negative 2. So k is equal to positive 5. So the answer is letter D, 5. So k is 5. Problem number 2. Ano ang halaga ng x plus y kung ang 3 to the x times 3 to the y equals 9 squared? Mm. So let me translate it in English. What is the value of x plus y if 3 to the x times 3 to the y equals 9 squared? So 3 to the x times 3 to the y is equal to 9 squared would mean applying the laws of exponents this is copy the base 3 add the exponents or you have to recall that a to the m times a to the p is simply equal to a to the m plus p there that's why I copied 3 then add the exponents x plus y now 9 is 3 squared, but the whole 9 is still raised to the second power. Did you get that? So, 3 to the x plus y is equal to 3 to the 4. Now, 
the bases are the same, there is a theorem that if the bases are the same, therefore, the exponents are equal. So, x plus y is equal to 4. Now, what do we want here? x plus y, there we are. x plus y is equal to 4. The correct answer is letter C. Let's move to problem number 3. In problem number 3, m is equal to n raised to the n times n raised to the n plus 2. Kung ang n ay may halaga na 2, ano ang halaga ng m? Yan. Translated in English, m equals n to the n times n to the n plus 2. If n has a value 2, what is the value of m? Okay, so we just plug in the value. M is, remember, N is 2. So, substitute here, 2 for M. So, 2 raised to the 2 times 2 raised to the 2 plus 2. So, M is now 2 squared is 4 times 2 to the 2 plus 2 is just 2 to the 4th. Oh, what is 2 to the 4th? 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. There. So, M equals 4 times 16 is 64. So, the correct answer is letter B. Oh, by the way, bakit tayo naka-Filipino language ngayon para sa college entrance exam review? sa math dahil sa ukat po ay may mga question sa math na nakasulat sa Filipino. Minsan daw isang buong test ng math lahat Filipino in Filipino language. Minsan naman daw kalahate Filipino, kalahate English. Minsan naman daw kung pag sineswerte kayo, lahat ay nakasulat sa English. I understand that you can understand math more if it is written in English because uh, in our Philippine educational system, math is really taught in the English language. That's why I have to translate. Next, problem number four. Ang Father Gus Montessori ay may siyam na pong estudyante. Kung 50 estudyante ay miyembro ng math club, Apat na po ay miyembro ng English club at ang sampu ay miyembro ng dalawang nasabing clubs. Ilan ang hindi sumali sa math club or English club? Okay. Father Gus Montessori has 90 students. If 50 students are members of the math club, 40 are members of the English club, and 10 are members of both clubs, how many did not join the math club or the English club? Okay. You, 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 the easiest way here is for you to use Venn diagram. There. This is the circle for those who joined math. Another circle for those who joined English. Now, let's take a look at this. You always start with the number of students who joined both clubs. And you write the number here. Because this is the number of students who joined math and English. There, nasabing clubs. Yeah, miyembro ng dalawang nasabing clubs. Who joined both. Yeah. And then, pumunta ka dito. You, you go here. 40 are members of the English club. So, English, 40. Lahat yan, ha? 40. So, 30 na lang. 40 lahat. So, 30 plus 10 ang sumali sa English club. Ngayon, ang math club naman, there are 50 students who joined the math club. This whole circle must contain 50. You already have 10 there, so what do you have here? 40. Repeat, 40 plus 10 is 50 students joined the math club. But the thing is, there are 90 students all in all. So you have to add this, 40 plus 10, 50 plus 30, 80. 80, 90 lahat, so you will have 10 outside. 
what what does this mean these are the students who did not did not hindi sumali did not join math math club or english club so the correct answer here is letter a now for example the question asked for how many joined the math club only math club only only ha math club only your answer must be 40 so let's say the problem asked for how many joined the english club only may word na only ha your answer will be 30. Why 40 for the math club only? Remember the 10 also joined the English. So, if they say math club only, your answer must be 40. Kung English club only, then your answer must be 30. Pero if the question is, how many joined the math club? Oh, walang only, ha? Huh? Math club, you say 50. Because 40 plus 10 joined the math club. When they ask, how many joined the English club? There's no only, huh? English club, 30 plus 10, that will be 40. That is the difference. Base sa larawan sa ibaba, ano ang x is to y? Based from the figure below, what is x is to y? And now, look at the figure below. In this figure, this line segment is parallel to this. And there is a theorem in geometry that if you have here... A line segment which is parallel to the third side of another triangle by AA angle angle this angle is congruent to the to the same angle of the bigger triangle that is A then this right angles are congruent so by the AA postulate or corollary or theorem in your school whatever the two triangles are congruent do you see that this triangle let's say this is OFI so triangle OFI is similar similar rather correction not congruent is now similar to triangle O E L O E L okay let us take a look at that again. O F I there. O F I is similar to triangle O E L by the A A corollary postulate theorem whatever you have in your school. Now, since the two triangles are similar, then you can say that X this side over four x over 4 will be equal to x plus y this side over this was this side x plus y over 18 by definition of similar triangles if two triangles are similar then the corresponding sides are proportional then cross multiply we have here 18x equals cross that 4 times the quantity x plus y so distribute 4 so you have there 4x plus 4y transpose 4x so 18x minus 4x equals 4y so we have it here 18x minus 4x is 14x equals 4y but what do we want we want x is to y oh we want again an x is to y which is simply x over y you can write it as x over y oh, how can you make this x over y look at this shortcut x over y this is what you do huh? this is a shortcut mm. what do you multiply there so you get a 4y isn't it 4 4 times y will give you a 4y oh, what do you multiply here so you get a 14x 14 isn't it now do you now have here x over y or x is to y equals 4 over 14 but wait they can still be cancelled or the fraction can still be simplified 4 divided by 2 gives you a 2 
14 divided by 2 is 7. The answer is 2 over 7. So the correct answer is letter C. Problem number 6. Kung si Pedro ay may average na 60% sa dalawang pagsusulit, ang baba naman. <laughs> sa bagay sa UP po, ang passing ay 60% during my time. Ano ang marka niya sa ikatlong pagsusulit upang tumaas ang kanyang average sa 70%? Okay, let me translate it in English. If Pedro has an average of 60% for the first two exams, what will his mark on the third exam be in order for his average to reach 70%? Okay, this is an easy problem. All you have to do is this. You multiply 60 times 2. Why 2? Because there are two exams. Dalawang pagsusulit. 0, 6 times 2 is 12. Meaning, the sum of his two scores is 120. Now, for the average to be 70, for the three exams, ikatlong pagsusulit. So, ibig sabihin, tatlo ang exam. For the three exams, you multiply 70 by 3 to get the sum of the three exams. There. And then, you just subtract 120. There. The sum of the two exams here. 0. What's this? 11 minus 2 is 9. Is that correct? Yes. So, he needs to get a 90 on the third exam in order for his average to go up to 70%. So the correct answer is 90, letter C. Ayan, so mga estudyante, mag-aral-aral po, mag-Tagalog ang mga Inglesero. Ano ang gagawin? Manood ng TV na Tagalog ang salita o Filipino ang salita. Pagkatap o kaya ah... Uh, Manood ng makinig, makinig ng news ng mga balita. Yan, dahil noong pong nakaraang taon, meron talagang mga problem sa math na nakasulat sa Philippine. Okay, I hope I was of help to you. Uh, don't forget to always add kindness, subtract judgment. Multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Smash the subscribe button and hit the bell button. Thank you.